the haunted old barn. It was a dark and stormy night when I found myself at my grandparents' farm. Nestled deep in the countryside, the old farmhouse creaked with every gust of wind and the rain beat against the windows like an eerie drum. I had always loved visiting my grandparents as a child, but this time, something felt different. As the rain continued to pour outside, I decided to explore the farm, seeking some form of entertainment to pass the time. Armed with a flashlight, I ventured into the barn. The wooden door groaned as I pushed it open, revealing a dimly lit interior. Inside, the air was thick with the musty smell of hay and old wood. The sound of raindrops hitting the roof echoed through the space creating an eerie symphony. I wandered deeper into the barn and my flashlight casting long eerie shadows that danced on the walls. The beam of my flashlight fell upon an old dusty mirror. It hung crookedly on the wall, its surface cracked and tarnished. Curiosity got the best of me and I decided to wipe away some of the grime to see my reflection. But when I looked into the mirror, I didn't see my own face. Instead, I saw a pale figure standing behind me in the barn, shrouded in darkness. I turned around, but there was nothing there. My heart pounded in my chest as I shined the light around, searching for any sign of the mysterious figure. Just as I was about to dismiss it as a trick of the light, I heard a faint whisper, barely audible over the rain. It sounded like my name whispered in a ghostly and haunting voice. Come play with me, the voice beckoned. My skin prickled with fear as I searched for the source of the voice. I was alone in the barn, or so it seemed. I took a step back, and the whisper grew louder, more insistent. Come play with me, it repeated now, accompanied by a chilling and childlike giggle. <laughs> I stumbled out of the barn, my heart racing, and slammed the door shut behind me. As I stood there, catching my breath, I couldn't shake the feeling that I had just encountered something otherworldly on my grandparents' farm. The storm outside continued to rage, and I knew I couldn't stay in the barn any longer. I hurried back to the safety of the farmhouse where my grandparents were waiting. When I told them about my eerie experience, they exchanged worried glances. My grandmother sighed and spoke softly. You're not the first to have seen something strange in that old barn. There are stories, you know, of a restless spirit that haunts these grounds. That night, I couldn't sleep, haunted by the memory of the pale figure and the ghostly whispers. I couldn't help but wonder if the farm held secrets far more terrifying than I had ever imagined. Knocks in the night. My wife and I had spent the better part of our lives on our farm, nestled in the quiet countryside. It was the kind of place where time seemed to stand still, and the years rolled by like the seasons. We had built our life together there, and though the years had aged us, our love remained as strong as ever. One crisp autumn evening, as the sun set behind the distant landscape, we settled into our cozy farmhouse. The air was filled with the comforting aroma of a hearty stew simmering on the stove, and the sound of rain tapping on the window panes added to the warmth of our home. As we enjoyed our dinner, a sudden noise broke the tranquility of the evening, a series of loud and distinct knocks coming from the direction of the barn. My wife and I exchanged puzzled glances, our forks suspended mid-air. What do you suppose that could be? my wife asked, her voice trembling slightly. I swallowed hard, feeling a sense of unease settle in my stomach. I'm not sure, I replied, pushing back my chair and rising to my feet. Let me go check. I retrieved a flashlight and cautiously made my way to the front door. The rain had intensified and the wind howled through the trees, casting eerie shadows across the yard. With each step, the knocks grew louder and echoing in the night, like a sinister drum bait. I reached the barn door. 
and the knocking ceased. I hesitated for a moment, my hand trembling as I reached for the handle. Slowly, I swung the door open, revealing the darkness inside. The beam of my flashlight cut through the inky blackness, revealing rows of tools and farming equipment. Nothing seemed out of place, and the barn appeared empty. I shook my head and convinced that I must have imagined the knocking when... Suddenly, the sound resumed louder, more insistent, and coming from the loft above. I climbed the creaky wooden stairs, my heart pounding in my chest. The loft was dimly lit by the moonlight, filtering through the cracks in the walls. I cautiously scanned the area with my flashlight my eyes falling on an old weathered trunk in the corner. With each step I took, the knocks grew closer, as if they were moving toward me. My hands trembling, I reached out and slowly opened the trunk. Inside, I found a collection of faded photographs and a tattered journal. I flipped open the journal, and my heart sank as I read the entries. They were written by a previous owner of the farm, describing a series of strange occurrences, including unexplained knocks in the night, whispers in the wind, and sightings of ghostly figures in the barn. I stumbled back, the realization sinking in that we were not alone on our farm. My wife's worried voice called from below, and I hastily closed the trunk and made my way back down. As I reached the bottom of the stairs, the knocking ceased once more. I met my wife's concerned gaze and said, We're not alone here. Something is in the barn. We spent the night huddled together in our bedroom, while the unsettling knocks continuing intermittently throughout the night. We knew that our farm held secrets far more chilling than we could have ever imagined, and we were left to wonder what haunted our beloved home in the countryside. The Farmstead Encounter It was a chilly autumn evening, the kind that sends shivers down your spine even before anything eerie happens. I had been working on the farm all day, tending to the crops, feeding the livestock, and trying to wrap up before darkness fell. The sun had already descended beneath the skyline, leaving the farmstead in eerie shadows. My heart pounded as I thought about the long walk to my car, parked at the edge of the property. As I made my way towards the car, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The rustling of the leaves and the cold wind seemed to whisper unsettling secrets. The dim glow of the lantern scattered around the farm did little to dispel the darkness that now engulfed me. I reached my car and fumbled for my keys my breath visible in the crisp air. That's when I saw her, a figure shrouded in tattered rags, her frail form hunched over, gnarled fingers clutching a gnarled wooden staff. The moonlight cast an eerie pallor on her wrinkled face, revealing a mouth filled with yellowed teeth. Her eyes, as black as the night itself, seemed to pierce through me. My heart pounded in my chest, and I froze in place. Who are you? I managed to stammer, my voice barely rising above a whisper. She didn't respond, her eyes boring into mine. Her lips curled into a wicked smile, revealing more of those grotesque teeth. The wind howled around us, and the rustling leaves seemed to mimic her sinister laughter. My instincts kicked in, and I fumbled to unlock my car the keys slipping through my trembling fingers. Panic coursed through my veins as I desperately tried to start the engine. The old woman, still smiling, that unnerving smile began to hobble towards me, her steps slow and deliberate. The engine roared to life just in the nick of time. I slammed my foot on the gas pedal, and tires screeched as I sped away from that haunting encounter. My heart raced, and I could still feel her malevolent gaze on my back as I drove off the farm. I never spoke of that night to anyone. The farm held a dark secret, one that had been awakened by my presence. I couldn't shake the feeling that the old woman's presence had been a warning, a chilling reminder, that some things are better left undiscovered. To this day, 
I can't pass by that farm without my heart racing, wondering if she's still out there in the shadows, waiting for another unsuspecting soul to cross her path.